obsession with compulsion, with using those uh, behavioral traits. Yeah. Because that's what's used. You've always used it and it's always worked. But now that it's not working, let's look at that. So, so you know? would you agree recovery is an inside job? No, big time. Yeah. yeah. Major. I mean, we stay in recovery all our life. Yeah. Like I'm in recovery from uh, a really unhealthy lifestyle where I was choosing to control people, places, and things instead of myself. And uh, when I had to look at that, there's no such thing as a victim either. I could easily say, I'm a victim of violence, but you know what? It's not true. I participated in violence. I allowed it. I communicated to other people at a violent level by shouting the information, lying, distorting the truth, maybe not giving all the information. I used all that energy in a negative way to communicate. And I have to be able to admit that. And if I say I'm a victim, that makes me a victim of someone's, right? Yeah. So why would I say I'm a victim? It's just the difference. Yeah. So yeah. I'm nobody's victim. And that's, uh, I, I have a firm belief that you can't heal one person in the family and say, hey, let's get little George off for treatment and the whole family will fall into place. That's bullshit. Yeah. Maybe little George has some issues that he has to get fixed, but chances are the whole family needs to be in recovery. Yeah. And it's the whole family. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can't uh, fix a table leg and then expect the rest of the table not to be out of balance. Something is going to go miss. So, what, have, have you traveled uh, outside of uh, BC? Uh, yeah, I've traveled to various parts of Canada. Work, all work related. I haven't traveled outside of Canada. This is the year that I'm going to start doing that. Okay. What, yeah. what are your... What My are niece your... wants to go to the Dominican Republic and Mexico in uh, the fall months. Oh, or okay. November. Okay. So I said, well, now that I'm not married, and I said I'm kind of mapping out my career for the next four years, I definitely, I'll definitely go. But you lived here most of your life? Yeah, then. not in Yellowknife. Uh, in Hay River. I actually lived some in Hay River and I lived all over Alberta and BC. I got lucky. I left, I was gone for about half my life. Then I came back up here. And lucky for me that I was so well known and have no soul. I have so many wonderful connections. I'm just fortunate, very fortunate. So, how do you feel about Yellowknife? Like is it's becoming uh, um, well? What I've been feeling is that it's starting to like really prosper. But is that good or is that bad? Like like things. Well, you know, it's got it has an effect on the land and the people. Like already, what I see is there are some things George just aren't for sale. Right. And that is our land and our way of life. Caribou are really changing, so are the fish. Yeah. But you know, if I went to a nice restaurant in Toronto and I ordered a nice spinach salad, and the waiter came and sat in front of me, and then come right another waiter coming through with a cup of dirt on it, I wouldn't eat it. Right. I'd move or I'd ask for a new salad. Well, caribou is the same way. Yeah. Their yeah. land is disturbed, so they're pissed off. They're migrating elsewhere. And that is going to have an adverse effect on our people. Mm -hmm. And the social impacts and ramifications of that are going to be so immense. Right. And already we're having a hard time getting up to snuff. Right. All the residential school issues and our people being, your European values being instilled upon us that we didn't know anything about. We, much like Catholic, good Catholics just adopted them. We didn't know. I mean, our lifestyles are much different than, than uh, European people. And there's nothing wrong with European lifestyles. They're wonderful too. But I think there has to come to a place where we have to be able to govern our own child welfare issues, our own social issues, like if a person's in need of income support, if they're in need of social dollars, housing, maintenance, enforcement, student financial assistance. Everything from seniors fuel, we have to have a way of governing that ourselves and be able to implement it in such a manner where we give.
give people the tools to access this. Mm -hmm. You know, if it doesn't work for a person, if you say to them, go down to the Go Control building and pick up that application and fill it out for me. And if they can't do it, well, it should be a dead giveaway that they may be able to work. Right. right. And, you know, there's a lot of people that fall through the cracks like that. And I really think we have to look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the social... We're going to see a lot of the social impacts in the next 10 years. We are already. Yeah. Our suicide I, rates have gone up. Yeah. I, I, you know, Tennessee's, along. Uh, they're, uh, have you looked at some of their statistics for North Territories now? Yeah, some of them. And yeah. I've also, along this journey, I've, I've learned a lot, you know, about what's really going on. Um, you Where know, were you a the, couple of days ago in BC? Well, I was in the Yukon. Oh, okay. And so I. You know, I I got I gathered a lot of. You know, I when I when I go through an area like I try and feel everything, like yeah. I try and feel the the happiness and the pain. Yeah. You know, I try and feel everything that that you know, uh, and 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 then try and understand. You know, so I I've gone on this entire journey with with an open mind and and to 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 just be a witness of what's going on here and and to understand uh so many things you know and and so um i i see a lot of good things and i see a lot of bad things you know that and and definitely uh, what what i'm noticing up north is that um, there's it, it's going to be the, the, the new uh, it's it's going to be put on the map like you wouldn't believe yeah. like everybody's coming up here oh, I and and it you know like they're already talking about super corridors going across the north they're already looking at all this you know and and so there's a good and bad part to that just like you mentioned. Can you imagine some of those communities, like the community of Simpson? They can have Fort a cap Simpson. of 850 men. What sort of ramifications is that going to have on the community? No, exactly. And socially, medically, uh, structurally, I just, it's just, for me, it sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, so that that's, but the way it's going, it's, it's like, it, it's you know like it's developed it's happening uh, and 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 the whole thing like um, you know it, it's it's hard like because you're up against greedy people too you know seriously greedy yeah and and that's like a real demon and and Greedy people will compromise all their values. They'll, everything that they once believed in, they'll compromise. Or, you know? Yeah. And it is a, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. So, when you flash, that's the bad side. Because you're flashing all this money and power and, you know, and and then the values get compromised. And their beliefs get compromised too. They don't, I find, well, I, for me, I always tell this to my kids and I live by it. Don't ever forget where you come from. Yeah. The good yeah. side is that yeah. so I've... You won't know where you're going if that happens to you. And the good side is that I've, I've witnessed that you have a lot of strong people here as well. Mm -hmm. Like, between, like, elders and, and other community members that will be the buffer yeah. that will prevent you know uh, from losing what what is value so they got to go through them you know they got to be the the angel or the uh, between the greed you know and so I think because of that you get more and more into into what you, the values really are.